Hello. Welcome to another one of mine Flutterflow tutorials. Today, we are going to use Pincode widget. First we are going to set up one Pincode that works for all the users the same. After that, we are going to set up another Pincode that works by letting all of the users set up their own Pincode. Let's get started. Now, we are going to create two pages, first page is called correct, and we are going to navigate in here if pin code is set correctly. Second one is incorrect, and we will navigate in here if user puts wrong pin code. I am going to add text to each one of these pages so we can tell which one is which. When the editing is done, we can go back to home page and add our pin code widget. Now, click on the pin code widget and open up the action center. First, we need to switch this to on completed. And after that, we want to add conditional action. Here, we are going to click on conditions and add single condition. For the first value, we are going to select pin code. We want to make sure that we have equal to selected in here. And for the second value, we are going to choose specific value and type down our pin code. Now, we go to true section. So if this pin code is true, we want users to navigate to correct site. And if this pin code is false, we want users to navigate to incorrect site. Let's go to test mode and see will this work. I am going to type in here our password, and hopefully we get to correct site. Nice, it works. But what if I type in wrong password? It navigates us to incorrect password, so this is working also. Now, we want our users to pick their own passwords. In order to do that, we need to be connected to Firebase, enabled authentication, and created users folder. When that's done, we are going to go in here and add new field which is called pin code. And for the data type, we are going to pick string. Now, head back to login page. We are going to add pin code field into our sign up process. Click this button and go to Navigation Center. In here, we can see all the logic when creating an account. We are going to add in here our PIN code. Click on Add Field and switch this to PIN code. For the value source, we want to pick from variable and select our PIN code widget. Now we go to home page and create pin code widget. Let's click on the pin code widget and go to action center.
Now again, we want to switch this to uncompleted. From here, add new conditional action. Again, pick on single condition. For the first value, we are going to pick the pin code field. We want to check again that this has been set to equal to. And for the second value, we are going to pick from variable. In here, we are going to click on authenticated user and select pin code. Now again, if pin code is true, we want to navigate to correct site. If pin code is false, we want to navigate to incorrect site. Let's try this out. Now, because Flutterflow remembers my login, I have to add a button to go back to login page. In here, we are going to create an account and create pin code. Let's set up our pin code as 5555. Let's try our pin code widget. First, I will enter an incorrect password, and we should be navigated to incorrect site. Perfect, let's enter the correct pin code that we just created, and see if it navigates us to correct site. It works also. Now, last thing we have to do, is create one more widget that enables our users to change their pin code. Let's add pin code field, and add some logic into it. Again, go to Action Center, and switch this on completed. Now we are going to select one action. Select Firestore, and click on Update Record. For the reference, we are going to pick Authenticated User, and User Reference. Now we click on Add a Field, and switch this email to PIN code. For the value source, we are going to pick from variable. And for the variable, we are going to select pin code 2. Now we need to try if it works. In here, I am going to type in our new pin code to the field below. After that, the first pin code should work with the same pin code. We can see that it works. But what if I enter in wrong pin code? That's working perfectly also. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you have learned something new with this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more similar content. See you in my next video.